Hello YouTube, Sonic here with an updated method of playing backups for your homebrew enabled Wii. The method I'm going to show you today takes all the hassle out of burning DVDs right out of the picture by using a USB flash drive to play your backed up files. Now before you blow this off simply because you don't want to drop the money to buy a high capacity flash drive, get this. While the standard size of a Wii ISO is a whopping 4.7 gigabytes, most of that, in most cases, is just filler. Games like Wii Play, for example, only take up 0 .09 gigabytes of hard drive space. No, I did not say that wrong. 0 .09 gigabytes. That's only 92 megabytes. Now, of course, there are games like Super Smash Brothers, which are printed on a dual-layer DVD. Super Smash Brothers takes up just about 7 gigabytes but most Wii games fit into the first category because they are low graphic intensive games. I'd say that pretty much a 4 gigabyte flash drive would be enough to hold a couple games. Um, you could even partition your iPod and hook that up to your Wii and use that as a storage device as well. So anyway, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to these three links that are on the video right now and download these files. You're going to be zip files. Um, if your Wii is not hooked up to the internet, go ahead and download the fourth file on the link list. If your Wii is connected to Wi Fi, you're good. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is put in your SD card, which I already have right here, and open up where you downloaded your files. Now, the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and unzip the cover floater version 1.0 file. Go ahead and unzip that and take cover floater 1.0 hyphen forwarder dot wad and copy that into the wad folder on your SD card and take the cover floater folder and put that into the apps folder on your SD card. Now onto the next file is the CIOS 36 Rev 10 installer. Now it's got a lot of files but those are just readme so ignore those. Take CIOS 36 underscore Rev 10 installer dot DOL and go ahead and rename it to boot.dol. That's the standard name for all executable files on the Wii. Now go ahead and copy that into a folder in your apps folder that you're going to have to make. Make a new folder in the apps folder and name it CIOS 36 Rev 10. Now copy boot.dol to that file and go back to your downloads folder. The last file is the WAD manager. Now, if you followed my last video, you should already have this. But this, I believe, is an updated version. My last video used WAD Manager 1.3. This time we're going to use 1.4. So go ahead, in the apps folder on your SD card, make a folder called WAD Manager. One point four. Now take the WAD Manager one point four dot DOL file that you just downloaded and rename it once again to boot dot DOL and copy that into the WAD Manager one point four folder you just made. All right. Now if everything's in order. Oh. If your Wii is not connected to the internet, 
the fourth file that I had you download just goes in the root of the SD card so just put it right here anywhere just on the root of your SD card once you're done with that go ahead and take the SD card out and we're gonna move on to the Wii alright now that you have your Wii started up go ahead and open it up I already have it installed I'm not gonna mess it up so let me just show you what to do in general go ahead and open up the homebrew channel which I certainly hope you already have and in this screen find CIOS 36 Rev 10 boot. Ignore that. You're going to uh, just follow the prompt. It's very simple. Just basically press A through it. And then you'll restart your Wii. After that, go ahead and open up WAD Manager 1.4. It'll ask you which CIOS you want to use. Just scroll to the left until you get to CIOS 36 and press A then load the cover floater file that we put on your SD card earlier and it will then install after it installs you'll get a channel on your main Wii page that will look a little something like this This is cover floater. Alright, after a very short loading time, you'll see all the games that you've put on your USB drive. Now, you won't have any games yet. And what you have to do to get the games is go to the link that's on the page right now. That link will take you to a program that you need to install onto your computer. It only works on Windows, unfortunately. But to most of you, that won't even make a difference. And what you do with this program is you hook up your flash drive to it, or you know whatever storage device you're going to use. And you will select it. You will select the drive letter of whatever storage device you're using and you'll say format to the Wii file system this will allow it to be read by the Wii and once you do that you can easily just press the browse button find the ISOs that are already on your computer which you should have I can't tell you how to get those and you just transfer it on over and it does all the work for you it compresses the ISO turns it into a very small file now games that are cell shaded like Mad World those games are about 3.3 gigabytes cell shaded games are pretty graphic intensive considering that they're just you know Wii games Wii Sports Resort is barely over half a gigabyte. So it all depends on what's in the game and all that good stuff. But this is a really, really just a must have homebrew app for your Wii. So anyway, I'll tune in next time for another Wii hacking video. I'll see you guys later. No, oh, la 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 Are you freaking kidding me? This is the five minute test upload. Oh my god. Uh, fuck.